You want to keep your job, right? Absolutely. Okay. The best way to keep your job is to answer the questions, not play this shell game, not sing the Slim Shady song, wasn't me. I, I mean, come on. How long did you prepare for this hearing? I've been preparing for this hearing over the weekend and into last week. Okay. Five days? Six days? As soon as I was notified. And how long was that? About this hearing. Okay. Four days? I began preparing. Four days? Three days? I'm not sure the date that I got the, re the letter asking me to be here. What are you sure of? Are you sure the color of your hair? Are you sure the color of your suit? I'm just like, tell the American people, what are you sure of? You don't even know when you started preparing for the hearing? I mean, the biggest hearing of your life and you have no clue, you can't remember when you started preparing for this hearing? Can you understand why those words seem hollow to the American people who are supposed to entrust their faith in you? I assure you, the moment I received notification... But you can't remember. You got a little Alzheimer's, dementia going. I mean, what, you can't remember. I have several active investigations going on in an operational agency to run. Okay. All right. But you want to take accountability, right? The buck stops with you, right? I am taking accountability. Super. Then let's start with trying to answer some questions. You keep referring to the FBI. When asked how many shell casings were on the roof, you referred to the FBI. When asked if there were explosives in the car, you referred to the FBI. When asked if Crooks was acting alone, you referred to the FBI. See a common theme here? I can go on and on. My question is, who at the FBI should I speak with? Wait for it. Wait for it. The FBI is responsible for the criminal Is there a name? I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Who at All right, here we go. I'm not certain. I don't know. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all audio and video recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That on is that. a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I want to. Mr. Ch I'm come on. We have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any, no matter how upset we get. Have you provided any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. You are being dishonest or lying. Like, I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communications from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information that this committee has asked of the Secret Service? Any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have you that. even read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay. And you have uh, said you don't know. You have no idea. Well, the answer is no. We haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or data from you or your agency in related to the rally that we have asked you for. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey Compatore's life is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. And it wasn't the roof that was dangerous. It was a nut job on top of the roof. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, I'll yield back. No, you knew that everyone knew. The people there knew that there was a danger, they knew there was a threat to President Trump, and it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand-down order, Ms. Cheadle? No. Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And no. why are you still sitting here not turning in your letter of resignation? L last question, but please answer, and then I'll recognize Ms. Presley. Please answer the question. Sure. That is what we are investigating to determine. We're, we're waiting for your letter. We're waiting for your letter of resignation. 
And you, you really need to consider doing that before you leave today.